Hi, I'm Dr. Carl Johnson, and I'm the doctor here at um, Michigan Brain Health that supervises the neurofeedback training. And I wanted to do is just a quick short video regarding um, anxiety and panic attacks. Now, I know a lot of people are having those types of issues, and it seems to be more prevalent now more than ever since COVID. Some of you are often utilizing psychological methods of help, including EMDR, talk therapy, trauma therapy, et cetera. And sometimes those things aren't enough. And a lot of people are finding that neurofeedback can be very helpful in assisting people with overcoming uh, some of these feelings of dread and, and fear and panic that have ensued over the uh, months and years that they've occurred in their lives. The brain itself can be evaluated in terms of its electrical activity. And oftentimes what we find is with people with uh, panic and fear and anxiety is their, their nervous system is over aroused. Uh, that is to say that their sympathetic or fight or flight nervous system is overactive. And oftentimes this shows up in a brain map, also known as a QEEG, quantitative electroencephalogram. Um, it shows up as increased beta activity um, it also can show up as increased beta activity on the right side of the brain. There's other, of course, other patterns that can show up, but um, those are some of the main ones that we can find uh, easily and most often with people with anxiety and panic disorder. Now, I don't treat those things specifically. That's a, a psychological issue, but uh, we do help people regulate their own brain waves through neurofeedback which is um, a way of doing biofeedback using your brain waves. It's also known as EEG biofeedback. And uh, we've been doing that for a number of years. I am board certified in neurofeedback by the BCIA, Board Certification International Alliance. And um, that helps me uh, keep on top of the field because I have to stay current in the uh, things that are required to know uh, in order to be a good practitioner, in my opinion. Brainwave biofeedback, also known as neurofeedback or neurotherapy, uh, those are ways that you can learn to self-regulate your brain waves into more balanced states, and that can allow you to have a more sense of well-being, uh, decreased uh, activation of your fight or flight nervous system, um, along with using modalities such as heart rate variability biofeedback. Um, those are also other things that can be done in conjunction with neurofeedback, and we actually use both of those technologies in our office. Uh, in fact, I'm in one of the uh, areas that we do neurofeedback. You can probably see the, the big uh, screen TV behind me, the computer over here, and some of the equipment that we use to connect um, the um, brainwave um, receiving equipment to your scalp with leads so that we can uh, do the neurofeedback. Now, it doesn't hurt, it's not painful, doesn't put any electricity in your brain, um, which are some of the things people, are, of course, are concerned about if they're not familiar with neurofeedback. But um, it is a very comfortable thing to do. You know, we end up uh, usually listening, have you listen to music that's relaxing with your eyes closed and as the software uh, reads your brain waves and uh, is helping guide you to a more um, relaxed state, um, the music that you're listening to in the headphones will go up in volume to the level that you would like it to be as a normal listening level. And when your brain waves go away from you know, the area of good brainwave activity we're trying to train you in, the sound will go down in the headphones, uh, indicating that, yeah, that's not what we're trying to help you do, but when the volume goes up and you also hear a reward tone, um, that means your brain is learning how to make a better balance of the brainwaves. Uh, and in regards to doing that, after you do it over and over, and this can occur um, over the course of weeks or months, um, then what you've done is you've created a new pattern. Just like riding a bike, basically. When you first learn to ride a bike, 
it's a little bit difficult. You might be feel wobbly on it. And then after a while, riding the bike over and over, you become more stable. You're able to go over turns and bumps and all kinds of things with no problem whatsoever. And really that's how neurofeedback works is it's over time you acquire a better brainwave pattern and then with more time you consolidate those good patterns and those become your new pattern. You don't lose your personality, you don't change you know, your, the good aspects of your personality, but you do uh, tend to have less uh, undue times when you're uh, fearful and panicked and, and decrease the likelihood of having panic attacks, uh, which are totally uncomfortable. And uh, as, as you who have them know, your heart races and, and you just have this horrendous fear. And I know some of my patients tell me that it's um, quite, quite uncomfortable. And I've only experienced it a couple of times after an auto accident, um, every time I would try and take a, a nap when someone else is driving and we'd hit a bump, or I would just come back like it was PTSD and I'm going through the same accident as earlier. So finally, through some neurofeedback and time that has dissipated, so now I'm very, well, much more relaxed in a car uh, if I'm not uh, the driver. So if you're having some challenges and you would like to try and see if we can help you, um, I would encourage you to uh, visit our website at Michigan Brain Health. You can look at the page related to anxiety and panic attacks. And we are offering uh, folks a, a, a no strings attached, free evaluation. All you have to do is call our special number 586-488-4818 or fill out the form on the website and you can come in and we can uh, talk and go over um, the material that you'll fill out and we can decide if together if it seems like it might be a good fit for you. Uh, so that's why I'm just doing this video to help you know that there are some other things out there that could be done to help you in addition to what you may be already doing now. So I hope to hear from you and I hope to see you um, on the more relaxed side of things in life so you can enjoy things better. Have a good day.